welcome back. So this video is a demo in review on a foundation, as promised, the Dalton Hydra Gel Foundation. I did a review on the Hydra Fluid Foundation last week. I will link that below. This is the original formula and this is the second formula that they came out with. And this is more catered to those who have dry skin, mature skin, even normal skin if you're looking for a little extra glow. This is a really great foundation. So if you are interested in this demo and review, just keep watching. Okay, so we are going to be demoing the Dalton Hydra Gel Foundation. This is in the shade medium. It is just a tad too dark for me. Um, I did purchase this during the summer, but we're just gonna make it work. Um, unlike the Hydra Fluid Foundation, which is the original Dalton Foundation that's in a dropper, this one is actually in a tube, which I really like. Um, I know one of, the com one of the major complaints about the Hydra Fluid was that the dropper sometimes gets a little clogged because this is a super thick foundation. And, you know, that was a big complaint. Whereas with the Hydra Gel, it can't get stuck. It's in a tube. You just squeeze it out um, on the back of your hand and you are good to go. This isn't as thick of a formula um, than the Hydra Fluid, but I really love it, especially for those ladies who are normal to dry. This, you will love this foundation. It will give you such a great, just luminous, hydrated look. Um, I am not going to be using Max Fix Plus. I'm just going to stipple this from the back of my hand onto my face and then I will be really pressing it in with my beauty blender. Um, once again, this is a really full coverage foundation. I mean, it's super pigmented. Like you, I mean, there's a reason this is called Doll 10. I really love this formula. I will say, this, ha this foundation has a slight fragrance. I never really noticed it before, but it does. We are gonna take these off. This is one coat. Just like the Hydra Fluid, this is a really full coverage foundation. It's absolutely gorgeous. This one is just a little more luminous. I, you can still see my hyperpigmentation just slightly, but I always go back with concealer to, to really take care of that. Um, this is a beautiful foundation. So I'm gonna finish getting ready and then we'll discuss the particulars of this foundation. So as you guys can tell, I am in love with this foundation. It is beautiful. The formula is gorgeous. It's not as heavy as the Hydra Fluid. It is a lighter formula, still full coverage still super pigmented. It's still, it's, it's a lighter foundation and I think that it makes the skin just look flawless. You can put nothing on top of this or a full face of makeup on top of this and you are still going to have that glowing from within, beautiful, just doll-like skin look to, to your face. And I am just in love with the way that this wears. This sits so beautifully on the skin. It doesn't accentuate your fine lines. It doesn't accentuate your dry patches. I have, you know, my, my Mojave Desert happening in the center of my face, and I don't feel that this, you know, clings to those dry patches or accentuates them in any way whatsoever. Um, I do feel that I get some really nice wear out of this. I always set it. Um, you don't have to set it, but I do just to make sure that I can get a little bit more wear out of it. Um, I don't find that it breaks up in my T-zone. It is just a beautiful foundation. So if you are looking for something that is full coverage but light on the skin and you have dry, mature, even normal skin, you may want to try this out. Now I will say one of the drawbacks to this foundation the shade range is not abundant. It is, they have the basics, light, medium, dark, which really sucks. But if you fall within those categories, if you go onto QVC.com and you find that you can maybe wear one of these shades, beautiful foundation. I know that they are trying to formulate more, um, more of a shade range, which is fantastic. 
but and I also love that this comes in a tube as opposed to a dropper um, that way you get out only what you need you know it's it's really great for sanitation purposes if you um, if you do make it professionally and you are looking for a really great foundation that doesn't has does not have SPF this foundation does not have F SPF it photographs beautifully even with the flash there's no white cast so really great foundation I give it two very beautiful thumbs up I'm in love um, I featured it several times in my favorites so you guys know how much I have been wearing this and enjoying this foundation so if you are interested I will leave a link below for QVC you can watch them demo it on their models once again you you will see that the shade range is not as abundant as you would th you would think um, so I know that they are working on that but yes beautiful foundation you can apply it with a beauty blender and or you can apply it with a um, a brush either way you still get a beautiful flawless look so I hope you guys enjoyed this demo and review and until next time